एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग इट्स वेरी प्लेजेंट मॉर्निंग टूडे और आज हम जा रहे हैं हर की दून वैली के लिए तो आज का हमारा जो शेड्यूल है वो रहेगा सांकरी के लिए तो अभी जो मैं हूँ वो हूँ प्री शॉक में तो यहाँ पे जैसे आप देख सकते हो कि हमारे सारे व्हीकल बोर्ड भी आ चुके हैं काफ़ी ट्रैकर्स ने बोर्ड भी कर दिया है और अब भी हम भी बोर्ड करेंगे लोकेशन वाइज काफ़ी अच्छा है सिक्स थर्टी पे हम लोग यहाँ पे आ गए थे अब हमारी व्हीकल काफ़ी जल्दी निकलने वाली है तो जो हमारा रहेगा हमारी व्हीकल स्टॉप करेगी वाय मसूरी होकर जाती है उनके ट्रेन कैंपी फॉल भी आता है वहाँ पर भी हम अपने ब्रेकफास्ट पर रुकेंगे काफ़ी अच्छा है काफ़ी अच्छा सीनिक व्यूज होने वाले हैं हमारे मिक्स अप ट्रेन है अभी रास्ते में हमें काफ़ी अच्छे कॉन्टी फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट भी मिलेंगे रास्ते में तो अभी हम चलते हैं तो देखते हैं आगे की जर्नी कैसी होती है और अब व्हीकल को बोर्ड कर देते हैं तो फाइनली अभी हम पहुंचे हैं अपने ब्रेकफास्ट के लिए यहाँ पे हमने हॉट किया है काफ़ी अच्छी जगह है नियर कैम्पी फॉल पड़ता है यहाँ पे आप न्यूज़ भी देख सकते हैं काफ़ी अच्छा है भीड़ पूरे हिमाचल बीच दिखती है यहाँ से ही और बेस्ट पार्ट ये है कि यहाँ पे हमने काफ़ी अच्छा एक हेल्दी हमें ब्रेकफास्ट प्रोवाइड होती है और जनरली हमें लगते हैं दो घंटे देहरादून से यहाँ पर पहुँचने में और कैम्पटी फॉल ही इसकी जस्ट थोड़ा सा ही आगे पर पड़ता है सो नाव वी रीच पुरोला फॉर आवर लंच and this place is called a gateway to harki doon valley this place is a small town just located beside the river kamal ghat it's one of the tributary of the river tons it's a, you can see a mesmerizing view of sunrise and sunset from this place the purola and altitude wise if you just check the altitude the altitude is of around 1524 meters altitude of this purola region and from sakri this place is around 60 km far so soon we will be reaching sakri it's going to took us around 2.5 hours journey it will be we will be covering ahead so after one hour drive from purola we have reached this mori region this mori lies just beside the river tons it's a very beautiful valley surrounded by pine trees and cedar trees as well सबसे पहले नाइन में स्टार्ट हुई थी एंड ये सांकरी की ओल्डेस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है है ना और ये आफ्टर सच अ डिटेल ब्रीफिंग बाय द ट्रैक लीडर्स ऑफ ट्रैक ऑफ इंडिया सो दे गिव अस वन रिस्क असेसमेंट फॉर्म सो व्हिच वी व्हिच आई फाइंड दैट इट इज वेरी मच एसेंशियल टू अ कमिंग फॉर एनी ऑफ द एडवेंचर ट्रैक्स लाइक ट्रैकिंग इज आल्सो अ एडवेंचरस सो यू रिक्वायर अ रिस्क असेसमेंट फॉर्म एंड दिस फॉर्म इज वेरी मच एसेंशियल एवरीवन नीड टू फिल दिस फॉर्म सो नाउ आई विल बी आल्सो फिलिंग द डिटेल फॉर एवरीथिंग एवरीथिंग इज मेंशन ओवर देयर आई विल बी साइनिंग दिस ओके गुड मॉर्निंग वंस अगेन गुड मॉर्निंग अब हम लोग चलेंगे ठीक है मॉर्निंग टी जिसको लेनी हो ले सकते हैं कंसेंट फॉर्म मुझे देंगे उसके बाद ब्रेकफास्ट की तैयारी देन विल मूव गुड मॉर्निंग ट्रैकर्स greeting from mountains i am here at the kot gaon sakri and today morning what we perform is some yogic exercises some yoga some warm up exercises and some stretching exercises so these exercises we perform in order to acclimatize ourselves for going for the high altitude tracks so now after having some tea and the breakfast we will be moving ahead for our trek to harki doon so these exercises are very essential which we have already performed to make our body in a proper way to acclimatize in such a way that it makes us easier while we are trekking so that we can avoid the cramps and any kind of strain in our legs and in our shoulder or in our uh, knees as well so hello trekkers now we are going from kot gaon guest house towards taluka so it's going to be around 13 km drive from here and it will took us around like 1 hour journey it will be so slow and ठीक है, ये कोई 
and now we are about to go it's going to be around 12 km track today and we'll be, we are expected to reach our campsite by around like 4 30 in the evening and in between we'll be getting a bag lunch we have already kept our bag lunch in our bag so we'll be having our lunch we'll be stopping at the So after the 10 km trek from Taluka, we have reached a place called Gangad. So this place is very much rich with its culture because here you will find the oldest temple named as Someshwar Mahadev temple over here. You will find the people staying in their homes, they usually build their homes with the wooden. They find the wood from here only and they build their home. And it's a remotest place of Uttarakhand region, oldest. And generally it is believed that Pandavas also took the same trail in order to go for their path to heaven. And just in this valley, this river also flows, the Supin river flows in this valley. So after covering a 12 km track from Taluka, we have reached our campsite, Sima campsite, Sima Chinudgar campsite. We call it a complete area. And now like you can see our campsite, right here over here and it's a very nice place right in front of me like some uh, you can see the Mishmayan peaks you can easily capture from here so our itinerary is our 8 to 10 kilometers okay and today we are going to be able to stay in the bottom of the street so after covering a track of half and half kilometer from our campsite Sima Chilurgar, so we have reached this place called as Pawani Garat. So in Garat, in Hindi we call it as a where the turbine is work, natural turbine is made, which is driven by the water resources. So this you can see it's a atta mill, wheat mill we call it, the chakki mix is basically like chakki. So locals over here they don't have electricity facility over here. So what they do, they just put their wheel over here and this machine is this machine is driven by the water just below this the water is flowing and just under this the turbine is there so this complete rotate and just because of this they are able to get the atta fresh atta they are able to get we have reached osla village and this osla village is the last village of this harki dun valley and here you can see someshwar mahadev temple is here so it is generally believed that this is one of the oldest temple in this valley, in this complete valley. This is the wooden architecture, oldest wooden architecture you can see in this temple. So after crossing the Osla village, we crossed the bridge over the river Supin and now we have we moved towards the right banks of this river Supin. So it's a steep ascent ahead. our campsite named as Kalkatiya Dar and this campsite is at an altitude of 9850 feet and right behind me you can see the Harki Dun Valley so tomorrow we will be going to cover the complete Harki Dun Valley this one flex is taking place right now and the weather is very much good Okay guys, so now we are going towards the Harki Dun Valley. So today morning we start from our campsite, Kalkatiya Dhar campsite whose altitude is at 9850 feet and today we will be covering around 11700 feet of the Harki Dun Valley and right behind me you can see the peaks, it's the Harki Dun Valley over there and the peak is also called as the Harki Dun Peak. So in this Harki Dun Valley you will come across not many woods but trees as well. But the trees in earlier time people used to write over them like you might have seen our Vedas all these are written over them you can see the layers of this the bask of this uh, tree the outer bask so it, it has a layers people used to write over them you can see that how good it is so after covering a trek of 5 km from Kalkatiya Dhar, we have reached the Harki Dun Valley and right behind me you can see the peak, it's a Harki Dun peak. This valley is at an altitude of 11,700 feet and in this valley the Supin rivers flows. 
This valley is rich with flora and fauna as well. We can see the chirping sound of the birds as well. So now we will be proceeding ahead to cover the Lake Meninda as well. So now we are at Harki Dhun Valley and now we are moving towards Lake Maninda Lake. And this route usually go towards the Borasu Pass as well. This is the same route which, which we were going to follow towards the Lake Maninda. And in this valley, you can see the, over there, it's a peak called as Atta Peak. And this is the Harki Dhun Peak. And on the right, you can see this is the Swargaroini, Swargaroini Peak. After the steep ascent of 1.5 kilometers from Harki Dhun Valley viewpoint, we have reached the Lake Maninda at an altitude of 12,300 feet. And this is just possible only because of the team Truck Up India who help us to reach here. Hope this information was very helpful for you. See you in the next video. Keep on tracking.